For many people, bowling is a recreational hobby. A wooden lane, 10 pins, and a ball to knock them all down. But for Rick Steffen, bowling is, and always has been, a way of life. I started bowling in 1953 when they set pins by hand. That was a big thing back in the 50s. A lot of bowling going on in the 50s all the time. A lot of leagues. There's a wonderful book out now, Where Have All the League Bowlers Gone? Factories are closing around the country and leagues are dying. Bowling lanes are shutting down. They're closing down. And it's not like it was back in the 50s and 60s. And then a lot of the bowling teams were uh, professionals, were sponsored by the, the beer companies, Budweiser and Strolls out of Detroit. And Budweiser's out of St. Louis came around and they had some really good bowlers and they toured and I got to watch them bowl. It was pretty fascinating. And through a long career of bowling, Rick has even hit the sports perfection. Let's see, first 300 was in Akron, Ohio. 70s, 78, 77, I'm not sure. It didn't feel so good because I wasn't in the jackpot. They had a 300 pot. And I'd never thrown one before, and I finally threw one. If I would have been in the pot, I would have won about $400. Rick is also in charge of bowling classes, passing on the sport he loves, but not without reward. I do it for the money. <laughs> and though teaching can be fun, it makes life hectic. There's nothing but stress out here teaching classes. Are you kidding me? Just beginning bowling, my little seven, eight, nine year olds had it in three lessons. These kids are all walking in here with computers and all they're all texting. I need to be giving a, ought to be giving the final and texting it to them. It's a very simple book. The basics of bowling. The basics of bowling right here. That's why the finals are open book, because that's the only way I get them to write the, read the book. And for Rick, he has hardly ever spared a dull moment. Even when I bowled collegiately for the IU bowling team, we had a coach, but he's more or less for their for the tournaments. They're killing me. They're killing me. I'm not supposed to have stress in my life. They're killing me. From Bloomington, Lucas Corley.